firstly, I just want to go back and, and let's come forward. So let's start off how you even came into the sport in the first place. Mm. Mm. So where did uh, it all start for you, man? So it started for me as a... I mean, I've always loved athletics as a youngster. Even from the age of three, four, something just attracted me to athletics when I used to see it on TV. Um, and obviously the usual pathway, we go through school, you're the fastest in the class, and then you, you wait for your sports days and and so on and so forth. Um, but it wasn't until, I think I was about 12, 13, I started going to my local club, which was like, a, which was, it was, where was it? Ladywell. Ladywell started training in Lewisham. And then I moved up to uh, Crystal Palace and I was just doing kind of club athletics for a few years. But it was more, it was more my mum kind of keeping me occupied. Um, so I didn't really get into trouble and stuff. And um, yeah, and then when I did start winning things, as like a under 15 and I started to enjoy it because obviously every kid likes to win. Yeah. Um, so I enjoyed that and that's what kind of kept, that kept, that kept me in touch with athletics. But it wasn't until really... I'd say I was 26 years old after the first Olympics 2012 that I went to that I actually started training full time. A lot of people don't know this, but up until 2012, I only trained three days a week. So, Seriously? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you managed so to that. achieve everything that you've done with just training three days a week and you've got the youngsters out here that yeah. are killing themselves to train four or five days a week. Exactly, exactly. So that was it. I mean, I, I, I did and I didn't really know much better. Um, I think kind of, I think the coach I was with at the time, he wasn't, he didn't really understand kind of what it took to get to that sort of level and sustain it. So, I mean, I was flirting with not, yeah, world-class kind of times, but because I was only training three days a week, it wasn't something yeah. that was really kind of, it was sporadic. I was up and down, do you know what I'm saying? Um, and it was after I kind of bummed out in the heats in the Olympics in 2012 that actually I, I sat down with some people and, I was, like, they, they was like, they couldn't believe it. They was like, you train three days a week? I was like, I swear down, I train three days a week. They was like, listen, we need to get you as a proper program. And that's when I moved up to Loughborough and started training with a guy called Rayna Ryder at the time. And then my career kind of started building from there. So did you, were you playing other sports or were you just like, just athletics, just every now and then, like three days a week? Yeah, I mean, at the time, yeah, when I was kind of from, I'd say 2011 was my first year. Um, on the team 2010 it should have been but I tore my hamstring nine centimetres that year um, but um, it was kind of up until the age of 16 I was doing um, rugby as well so I played rugby a bit um, which was I enjoyed and I was good at it but I kind of wanted to be in a sport that actually I decided my own fate um, so yeah once I, once I was doing athletics there was no, no other, really, other sport that I was really kind of involved in well, we we had a look at some of your you know times from your first four seasons in athletics, and I think you raced every you raced three times in a year in a season, or four so, times in a season. I remember thinking, right, you know, I want to just do national championships, maybe Bedford Games, and a couple others. That's about it. <laughs> so. To be fair, Crystal Palace was was a place everyone used. Wasn't it like Crystal Palace? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, it was one of the places for English schools and stuff. So yeah, you must yeah, have been I mean, excited Palace, seeing that. Yeah, Palace was a hub for you. Like you had a lot of good youngsters coming from South London, especially through Crystal Palace, and kind of like the club coaches there. Um, and then obviously back then we'd have the, the Grand Prix, the uh, Crystal Palace Grand Prix, when you'd have all the superstars come over and compete. Yeah. Which was, I mean, I remember from the age of fifteen to about fifteen to about eighteen, I was always sneaking in. To, to watch it <laughs> and then I remember I think it was how old was I? I think I was 19 when I first competed there in a guess race but it was always a dream of mine to compete there so so being that you train there from time to time is that how you learned where you could sneak in yeah or did you just go no I'm going to train yeah. I'm going to train yeah and no, I had that thing on Smash I knew all the little kind of hang 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 drop locations where you can get into the stadium and that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I back then I didn't have money to be kind of buying a ticket for that X amount. So I just had to get my get my way in. So 